What is the best way to start this video? I mean, do I do the same thing? Do I just start with the truck and the hike and to here and the campsite and all that? Probably the best place to start is here. Yeah, here. So, here we are. This is the top of Red Mountain. And I'm at some old fire lookout station, which is obviously gone, but the foundation is still here. And that's fitting because it looks like the world is on fire. Supposedly this view is spectacular and you can see all the way to the sawtooth, but nope, not this year. We didn't even have a summer. There was, there was no summer. Things have just thawed out. Like we are just into July and usually you have some time through the summer until right about the fall is when this starts to happen. But not this year. Wasn't much snow up in the mountains. It got hotter quicker. It thawed what little snow was up here. Dried it out, set it on fire and now we have this. Such a shame. But yeah, eerily poetic that I'm sitting up here at this fire lookout in a pretty recently burned forest covered in smoke. The duality of this area between the lush, vibrant, wildflower trickled landscape with its lakes and green foliage to the severely burned Douglas fir forest here, combined with the atmosphere of gray smoke. It's like something out of the apocalypse. I came up here for a view. I kind of got one. I can see all these, these lakes down here that would make this place super cool. I'm sure there's some fish in them or something, so not all is lost. But now, which one to stay at? because I'm seeing several. So this is the first lake. All these lakes in this basin don't have names. So this is lake 7,800 feet. It's only four o'clock. There's another lake. I think the biggest lake in the basin is 300 feet higher. Uh, so I'm just gonna scramble over there real quick. Side note. I realized just now that I didn't bring my chair and that is really bumming me out. Not having my chair is making me realize how much I like having a chair out here. All right, this spot has a lot to be desired. A bench, a nice little creek here. Um, right next to the water, it's cool in the shade. But now that I'm over here, I can see back closer to where I came from. And I think I see the primo spot over there. I'm kinda, kinda thinking about doing the full circle around this lake and heading over there and grabbing that spot. Ugh. Come here, man. Oh, you're bouncing now. Oh, you're so fast. You're so fast. Come here. Oh, I got you. Oh, look, I got a toad. Oh, are you mad? I'm sorry. Look at that thing.
fish. Oh, what a big, what a fish. Come here, buddy. Come here. Ooh, look at that fish. Oh, easy, buddy. Okay, put him back in the water.
All right, that's enough of that. Hmm, well, that was interesting. A smoky yet successful fishing trip to Red Mountain and the Red Mountain Lakes. First off, if you're like, wow, John, you're still shamelessly rocking that tank top. Did you just get back from a hike? Uh, yeah, no, this is just how I come to work now. There were so many fun details and little things that I learned in this hiking video and the last hiking video at Curtis Lake that really didn't fit the narrative of the story. So I'm gonna do something a little different in an hour, I'm gonna have a live stream. I'm gonna talk about Curtis Lake and Red Mountain Lakes. I'm gonna get into GPS and the Garmin inReach and how that thing works. I'm gonna talk about Tenkara rods. What is a Tenkara rod? What is Tenkara fishing? How to do it, how to be successful at it. And I'm also gonna go into some of the filmmaking decisions I made and just little behind the scenes stuff with the camera, like how I made 15 time lapses in one evening and how I built the creepy song at the end of the Red Mountain Lake video. If you haven't already, go back and check out the Curtis Lake video. It is right here. Join us for the live stream, which is right here. There's also a link in the description below. And then if you still want more Idaho hiking and backpacking, check out this playlist right here. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.